What's the crack everyone? Daft Simulations here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another guide. Today we're going to look at grapes and olives. Where do we start? Well, first thing we do, we place them down. So open up your construction menu. Go to Productions. Hit the Archer tab. And then you want to pick your either your grapes or your olives. So we pick grapes. What'll happen? It'll give you this little post here. And what you want to do, you press X and then with your left analog, this is on the PlayStation now, you drag out as long as you want to make the row. I mean, there's no end to when it stops. And to ease the work for yourself, you try and get it as straight as possible. to match up with the line next to it so that's fairly close there not too bad that's not too bad the closer you can get the rows the easier the work is going to be throughout the whole thing so next up equipment what do we need so I've laid out an array of everything here. If you're stuck, you head into your menu. And we go down to this little thing here, this pack section, which is just below objects. And we hit grapes. In this section, it will show you everything you need to do grapes. You want to do olives? Hit olives. It will show you everything you need to do olives. I'll still run through what we need so any of these tractors they're the smaller tractors these are handy they help fit to down through the vines so you have the Landini Rex 4070 GT the New Holland TK4 methane power and the Vent 207 V Vario TMC Cancella TPN 140, it's a mulcher. The AgriSim Disc Zero Vin V cultivator. Liquid fertilizer. The Hardy Mercury 4000 litre liquid fertilizer sprayer. The New Holland Broad 9070 litre, it's a grape harvester. The New Holland Broad 1990X, which is an olive harvester. We have the choice of these three Furman trailers. This is for your grapes. And lastly, if I could check what it's called, the Pro Vitas MP122 Osea, which is a pruner. That's for the grapes only. There's no need to prune olives, also with the olives. Grapes have their own trailer type, the olives, any standard trailer. One other thing, there was one other piece of advice I had. Oh, yes. These are your three tractors. This middle one, the New Holland. If you're doing grapes, you won't be able to prune with it. You need either the other two tractors with the front three point link to use the pruner. Just one little bit of advice, that's all. So we'll get started. We'll take the vent. So first job is to cultivate the ground. See here, we'll dig up all this loose soil. Mulching, it usually takes 
a growth stage or two for the grass. This grass gets a bit longer and then you mulch it. This is where getting your vines as straight as possible comes in handy. Makes running up to the side of them a lot quicker. There's mulching. We'll do run, run. And the olives now. Exact same process. Like so. I'll finish this off. And I'll come back to you for the next thing. So we return with the cultivator. We'll drop it back down. We've done our cultivating. We don't need that anymore now. Until next season. So what we take, we'll take our liquid fertilizer sprayer. We'll fill it up with the IBC. Oh my god, that should, that should be enough to see us through. Beautiful piece of kit this, the fan sprayer. Something a bit different. Now we'll have to do two stages of this, so we'll do one stage now and then add the next grow state or maybe the one after. We'll do another run of it. Simple as this. Run up and down between the vines. Grapes done. That's your olives done. No, oh, we'll open up the map. There we have it. There's our two little sections here. Olives and grapes. First fertilizing stage done. I'll go off for a sleep. And we'll be back for the next month. We are back. Two months later. And the grass has grown. Grapes and olives are coming along nicely. They're two months growth now. The grass is here, so I've brought over the landini and the mulcher, and we're gonna mulch the grass, get rid of it. We lower down, turn on. As we can see, the mulcher is cutting down the grass.
simple as that it's the exact same for the olives run up and down just like we did with the, the subsoiler and you will mulch your grass if you want to get that better yield you gotta do it so I'll continue away with this and we will be back when it's time to harvest with the mulching done and before the harvest we forgot all about the second stage of fertilizer we have to put down so we'll just do that quickly here and then we'll wait for the harvest very important you want to get that full yield you get that second stage of fertilizer and all the other stages down done and dusted So I'm playing with the seasons growth turned off. So as I worked out the other day in the growth times video, the grapes should be ready in about five months. So we are two months in already, so another three months and they'll be ready. And the olives should be ready in four months. So only two months to go for the olives. We'll just finish up this last piece on the olives with the spray. Like so. And we'll sleep out the next two months. And we will see you momentarily. We're ready for harvesting. We start off with the olives. The usual L1 and X to unfold the harvester. Then we try and line them up. So if you can see the two bears just here going across the front of the harvester, you line them up. You should be going across perfectly. Yeah, there we have it. Or you can always look from the front. There we have it. Grapes harvested. Emptying them into the trailer there now. Just like so. Now you're probably wondering, you have your olives and your grapes in your trailers, what do you do next? Well, you can sell them directly as they are to a sell point. Or if you're using your production chains, you can send the grapes to the grape processing unit or the olives to the oil mill to be processed further 
into different products. So, one more stage in the process to go. Olives are fine. They'll start growing again the next month. So, we sleep into the next month and we'll see what the last process is with the grapes. So, I shall be back momentarily. So, we're now a month later. The olives should be growing there. The olives have started growing already. But what we need to do with the grapes, we need to prune them. Right, here we are. Nice straight line now. As soon as we prune off, The grapes will start their process again. Back to the first growth stage. It'll just be a case of redoing all the different process from start to finish. Simple as that. Nice and easy, up and down the lines to do your pruning. And there we are. That was your guide to grapes and olives. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.